Postmenopausal osteoporosis is a chronic progressive disease caused by excessive bone resorption by osteoclasts. Osteoclasts are specialized cells that resorb bone, while osteoblasts are bone forming cells. In healthy bone, the activities of osteoclasts and osteoblasts are balanced so that the amount of bone resorbed is in balance with the amount formed. The rank ligand pathway plays a major role in the formation, function and survival of osteoclasts. Osteoblasts produce a protein called rank ligand, which binds to rank receptors on osteoclast precursors and mature osteoclasts, causing them to fuse, mature and attach to bone. Rank ligand also increases the activity and lifespan of mature osteoclasts. After the menopause, the decline in estrogen levels leads to increased rank ligand, which triggers increased osteoclast activity. Increased osteoclast activity leads to excess bone resorption and decreased bone density and strength and an increased fracture risk. Bisphosphonates are the most commonly used treatment for postmenopausal osteoporosis worldwide. They bind to bone mineral at the site of bone resorption. Bisphosphonates preferentially accumulate in trabecular bone. There, they're taken up by mature osteoclasts, resulting in a loss of resorptive function. The discovery of Prolia offers postmenopausal women a different treatment option for osteoporosis. Prolia binds to rank ligand and prevents its binding to the rank receptor on immature and mature osteoclasts and therefore stops osteoclasts before they reach both cortical and trabecular bone. Prolia inhibits osteoclasts at all stages of development, thereby decreasing formation, function and survival. In this way, Prolia blocks the action of osteoclasts before they can actively resorb both cortical and trabecular bone at the hip and at other key sites throughout the skeleton. Prolia's unique mode of action stops osteoclasts before they can reach both cortical and trabecular bone. Prolia increases bone density and strength working throughout the skeleton.